What's up, YouTube? You guys ready to see a Blackwing deck? No? No? Well, well, well fine, fine. Okay, alright. I'll show you something different. Hold on. Alright, alright. I got another deck for you, alright? Jeez. Nothing makes you happy. Alright. Well, this is a deck that I've been using for the past few months. Um, a lot of my friends know it. A lot of friends like it. I hope you guys like it, you crazy bastards. Alright. Let's get this going. First up... We've got three Insector Hornets. Yeah, yeah, you know what deck this is. Three Insector Hornets. You don't want to normal summon this guy. He, um, you just want to abuse him from out of the graveyard or your hand with your other Insectors, like your Dragonfly. And uh, just pop every card your opponent has and have your Insectors go off. Super broken card for that deck. And like I said before, we've got three Dragonflies. Those two cards are the bread and butter of this deck. Those two cards go as well together as like, I don't know, me and your mom? <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, no? Shut up! Alright. Next up we've got three Insector Centipede. It's just a sweet, awesome card. This is the reason why this deck doesn't have a spell card that searches you out Insectors. This guy right here, because you can just easily special summon him out of your deck and uh, just search for any Insector card you really, really need. Now for the TCG exclusive Hopper. This guy is pretty sweet. He's a level 4. He's only level 4, too. And um, he's a TCG exclusive. Um, he's a 1700 beater. It's really nothing like, there's nothing really to hate about this guy. He's all, you know, all around a really great card. And he makes your dragonflies and centipedes go off. Um, pretty sweet card. Gotta love him. Next up is two Gigamantis. I run two, mainly because, like, after I go off, I like to just equip one to my dragonfly in the end and um, try to protect them as long as possible. Um, you equip it to um, an Insector monster, they go up to 2400. Super awesome. And uh, it's just an awesome search with your Centipede. You got your staple Sangan, of course. You gotta have that. Gets your Hornets, gets your Dragonflies. You got your Gores, which will save you in a pinch. If your ass ever needs saving, he's always there for you. Dark Arm Dragon, of course. You can manipulate your Darks in the graveyard fairly easily, so there's no reason not to run him. Then we've got two Effect Veilers, which is pretty much a staple in any deck right now. I'm really hoping this deck places pretty high in Nationals, as of right now Nationals is going on. And um, I really hope Insectors do really well. But not too well to where they'll, like, they'll ban something or like drop the uh, Limited Hammer like on Hornet or something. That'd be terrible. But, oh well, this card, that, that card is pretty retarded. And last but not least, two Doom Dozers, which is pretty awesome. Which lets you do some pretty cool tricks with your level 3s. So you can go Levy Air and bring back any Insector monsters that you removed for your Doom Dozers. So, yeah, that's the monster lineup. Next up, we got the spells. We've got two Insector Zect Calibers. It increases your Insector's monsters by 800. But also, when this card's sent to the grave, you can get any Insector monster from your graveyard back into your hand. So you get your Hornets back, you get your Dragonflies back to go off again. Uh, pretty cool broke card. Not bad. Uh, cards that really don't hurt this deck. Two Pot of Duality just sets you up really, really well. It's pretty stupid how this card can really, really boost this card's credibility and effectiveness and just make it that much more consistent. Some draw power with the Lure of Darkness. Like I said, you can get back any of those Insector monsters you have lost to any removal with... Um, Levy air, so it really doesn't hurt you. And we've got a staple monster reborn. There's no reason not to run it. Same story applies to Heavy Storm and Dark Hole. Of course, you just have to run those cards. Next up, we've got Book of Moon. One of my favorite minus ones in the game, I have to say. I really do enjoy this card a lot. It's just some defensive, some defensive back rows and um, prevents your opponent from exceeding and or secret summoning if they still choose to do so. <laughs> and last but not least for the spell lineups, we have two MSTs for your offensive plays because uh, this deck is really, really offensive. And um, anything that your hoppers and your like dragonflies with hornets can't get rid of, this will back you up and uh, let you go off. And last but not least, we got our traps. For our final traps, we've got two Solemn Warnings, um, just pretty much staples, you know what they do. Pay 2,000, negate a summon, whether it's a Gores, a Battle Fader, a Trigoidia, anything huge, Judgment Dragon, BLS, any of that scary stuff that you don't want on your field, that's what you reserve that for. 
After that, we got two Call of Haunted's, something that this deck really, really likes. Bring back your Dragonfly and go off. Um, it's really crazy how this card can really, really help you make an offensive push. Next up, we've got two Bottomless Trapples after that priority ruling, which has been in effect for a while now. Um, this really sweeps up those giant ignition monsters that used to have priority. BLS, you have to think twice, you know, whenever they pull that out. Uh, Judgment Dragon, Dark Arm. It's just pretty nasty what this card can really, really sweep up and get. And last but not least, we've got two Dark Bribes. Whatever your Hornets can't take out on the back row, this will back you up whenever you make those pushes. You don't want to get Mirror Forced or, I don't know, Deep Prisoned, stuff like that. And uh, this definitely helps you out. They may draw a card, but in the end, with your with your Dragonflies and your Hornets, you'll always come out card-wise on top. So that you can, you can always just you know give your opponent that one draw card, but um, it's really not that bad. And I do enjoy it. this card's really saved my ass a few times. And as for the extra deck, we've got a lot of different choices. Um, you can leave it up to yourself for whatever you want to run. This is the stuff that I run whenever I just bullcrap with my friends and stuff like that. And um, you know, if I were to go to a sanctioned tournament, you know, it'd be completely different. But um, this is the stuff that I choose to run. Bam, Levier, always great. You gotta have that in your extra deck, especially in this. If I had a Zen mains, trust me, I would run that as well. You gotta have your Zen mains. Um, you've got the Photon Strike Bouncer, which isn't bad, but more than likely will never come out in this deck. I just have it because I I use this same extra deck for like two or three other decks. Um, Utopia, of course. You've got the Exabeetle, which isn't really bad. Um, I've pulled it out in other decks more than I have in this deck. Uh, Gem Knight Pearl. You got the Leviathan Dragon and Grenosaurus and Wind Up Zen May. Oh, not Zen Mains, but Zen Meister, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. um, then we've got our Synchros, what we have here. We've got Scrap Dragon. You do have, you know, your Veilers, so you can exceed. I mean, Synchro, excuse me. <laughs> I'm just screwing up everywhere. So you got all these generic ones right here that you just like to run. There's no really point. Like you know, you got to run the Catastrophe because you can make that Brianak and Mistworm and Stardust and Black Rose, of course, all that good stuff. But um, but for the most part, you know, you can really just stretch out your extra deck however you prefer. This is what I choose to run, and um, it's you know hasn't failed me yet. But um, that's the deck, guys. And if you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Um, Friend me on Facebook and on Tumblr. I just post a lot of different random videos and like photos and stuff um, on all those sites pretty commonly. You guys can follow me, hit me up, PM me, whatever you like. And um, um, also um, tomorrow, which is Sunday, the I think it's July the first. Um, we're gonna have a tournament at Ground Zero. It's bi-weekly and um, it's gonna be pretty sweet. If any of you guys, any of my viewers are within the East Texas, you know, just East Texas area, um, you can just look up Ground Zero, which is in Tyler, Texas. Um, if you live, you know, whether you live in Longview, if you live in Jacksonville, if you live in Palestine, you can come and hit us up if you want. Um, Ebony Magician 34 will be there. Um, Liquid Insanity will be there. SSJ Rod will be there. Um, Darth Marth 333 will be there. And, um, uh, I'll totally put their um, links down in the uh, description bar. And until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Peace. And if you come out and see us, we'll see you there at the tournament. Later, guys. Peace.